Hello YouTube, this Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real Hard Sickles Aquatic Kennels. In this video, I'm going to explain why I prefer space heaters over aquarium heaters. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments section below what type of aquarium heater you use and how efficient, effective, and safe they are. Because that's what's important, the safety of your fish and yourself, not to mention your property. Let's start with aquarium heaters. Here's what I really want you guys to process and understand about aquarium heaters. And this is a fundamental fish fact. When you're using heaters in your aquarium, you're basically funneling electricity to water. And what is that old saying about electricity and water? It don't mix. Check this out. Your average aquarium heater is housed in a glass tubing or titanium tube. And there's a good reason why. Look, if you have large monster fish or cichlids, they can possibly shatter the glass housing and hurt themselves. Most importantly, cause an electrical fire, especially if you don't have them plugged into a surge protector. Now, I mentioned some are housed in titanium housing instead of glass, which helps if you have large fish or cichlids that may shatter the glass ones. Now that you have a titanium one, you don't have to worry about that situation. But these heaters are very expensive, if I may say so myself. Not to mention, God forbid, if you are doing water changes and forget to turn off the heater while draining the water and it gets exposed to air and shatter if it's glass or malfunction if it's titanium, which is a very costly mistake. In addition, aquarium heaters don't last very long. Here's my opinion, and this is based off of experience. It is much easier to heat the air surrounding your aquariums than individual tanks. This is the problem with most hobbyists. They don't think outside the box. Instead of looking at it from a different angle, they keep spinning their heads trying to figure out the best aquarium heater to buy instead of the best space heater to buy. Those were some of the main reasons why I prefer space heaters over aquarium heaters. Some of my aquariums still have heaters in them that I haven't used for years for those simple fish facts alone. Look, I know I didn't go over some of the pros of having aquarium heaters. And that's because most of you guys know that already. It's the cons that I'm worried about. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. You see, some of you may or may not know, I keep my fish outdoors in a storage building. There is no central air or heating. And for those individual heaters to keep going off and on, the electric bill is through the roof. But if you get a simple space heater and heat the air around the tanks, you have a better chance of having a more reasonable electric bill than the through the roof cost of individual heating of aquariums. Now in the second half of this video is gonna be short and sweet. But before we do that, check this out. Now if you like this video and content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that sub button and notification bell. And don't forget to check the description area for these products you're seeing right now on your screen. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. The number one reason why I prefer space heaters is safety. For example, when I do water changes, I don't have to worry about forgetting to unplug heaters. Number two, I don't have to worry about 
heaters going out or malfunctioning causing death in my aquarium due to overheating or underperforming and freezing my tropical fish. Number three, it's more practical and cost effective to heat the surrounding air than individual tanks. Plus, if I have a power outage, it's easier to run a space heater directly to a generator than multiple individual aquarium heaters. And that's all I have, folks. Until next time. This skip 